Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, the PLPNO channel. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, what's the difference between aluminum and copper electrical wiring? If you've ever flipped a light switch, plugged in your phone, or wondered what's really hiding behind your walls, you've already encountered the world of electrical wiring. But here's the thing. Not all wires are created equal. For decades, two metals have shared the stage, copper, the trusted veteran, and aluminum, the lighter, cheaper contender. So, what sets them apart? Which one's safer, more reliable, or more efficient? Stick around as we unravel the electrifying story of aluminum versus copper wiring, right here on History of Simple Things. Copper has been the go-to choice for electrical wiring for well over a century. It's reliable, highly conductive, and holds up well over time. But in the 1960s and early 1970s, aluminum briefly stole the spotlight. Why? Copper prices skyrocketed during that period, and aluminum was seen as a cheaper alternative that could do the same job. Utility companies and home builders quickly embraced it, thinking they had found the perfect cost-saving solution. But the honeymoon phase didn't last. After just a few years, electricians began noticing troubling issues. Aluminum wiring connections were loosening, overheating, and in some cases, causing electrical fires. By the mid-1970s, building codes in many areas shifted back to copper for most residential wiring. Still, Aluminum didn't disappear entirely. It's still used today, mainly in certain applications like power distribution lines and large appliances, but its reputation in household wiring never fully recovered. One of the biggest differences between aluminum and copper comes down to how well they conduct electricity. Copper is simply a better conductor. That means for the same electrical load, Copper wire can be smaller in diameter compared to aluminum. In practical terms, copper wiring allows for a more compact and efficient installation. Aluminum can still carry electricity effectively, but to match copper's performance, it needs to be thicker. This is why, if you've ever seen aluminum wiring, it tends to look bulkier than copper wiring rated for the same amperage. Another point to consider is energy loss. Copper wiring typically has lower electrical resistance, which means less energy is lost as heat along the way. Over time, that can contribute to a more efficient electrical system, especially in long-distance wiring runs. Durability is another area where copper often comes out ahead. Copper is more resistant to corrosion and retains its shape better under stress. It's less prone to creep, a term electricians use to describe the gradual loosening of wire connections due to expansion and contraction. This stability means copper wiring connections stay tighter over the years, reducing the risk of overheating. Aluminum, on the other hand, naturally oxidizes when exposed to air. While copper oxidation still allows electricity to flow, aluminum oxide is not conductive. This layer can interfere with the connection and increase resistance, leading to hot spots. Aluminum also expands and contracts more than copper when heated, which can loosen connections over time if not installed correctly. When people talk about the risks of aluminum wiring, they're usually referring to its behavior at connection points, like where the wire meets an outlet or a light switch. If those connections become loose, resistance increases, generating heat that can potentially start a fire. This was a major factor in the problem seen with 1960s and 70s aluminum wiring. Modern aluminum wiring is safer than the older type thanks to improved alloys and installation techniques. 
Electricians today use specialized connectors and antioxidation compounds to minimize risks. Still, copper wiring generally offers a wider margin of safety because it's less temperamental and more forgiving if conditions aren't perfect. If you have aluminum wiring in your home, it doesn't automatically mean you're in danger, but it does mean you should have it inspected periodically and make sure any repairs or upgrades are handled by a professional who understands aluminum wiring requirements. Cost is one area where aluminum still shines. No pun intended. Aluminum is significantly cheaper than copper, sometimes by as much as 30-50% depending on market fluctuations. This is one of the main reasons it's still used in large-scale electrical applications like utility lines, where cost savings can be huge. In residential wiring, however, many homeowners and builders are willing to pay the extra for copper because of its reliability and lower maintenance needs over time. Copper prices can vary, but its long-term performance often justifies the investment. Aluminum may have the edge in price, but copper tends to win in overall value for most home electrical systems. Aluminum wiring is lighter than copper, about one-third the weight for the same volume. This makes it easier to handle in large installations, especially for overhead power lines or industrial-scale projects. The lighter weight reduces strain on support structures and makes transportation cheaper. That said, in the confined spaces of a home, the weight advantage isn't as critical. Flexibility also plays a role here. Copper is generally more flexible and less likely to break when bent, which can make installation in tight corners smoother. Aluminum is more prone to becoming brittle over time especially if exposed to repeated bending or vibration. Today, copper is the standard choice for most household wiring, especially in branch circuits that power outlets, switches, and lights. Aluminum is still commonly used for service entrance cables, bringing power from the utility to your home. Larger appliances like electric stoves or HVAC units and in utility-scale transmission lines. The reason aluminum remains in these applications is simple. When installed correctly, it works just fine. And the cost savings for thicker gauge wiring in high-capacity systems are hard to ignore. Copper remains king in residential branch circuits because of its safety track record, stability, and ease of use. While both aluminum and copper can carry electricity to where it's needed, they each bring their own strengths and weaknesses to the table. Copper is like the dependable friend who always shows up on time, steady, reliable, and a little more expensive. Aluminum is more like the budget-friendly neighbor who's great for certain jobs, but needs a bit of extra attention to make sure everything runs smoothly. The key takeaway? It's not that one is universally good and the other bad. It's about matching the right material to the right job and making sure it's installed correctly. Because at the end of the day, the real goal isn't just to have electricity flowing through your home. It's to have it flowing safely, efficiently, and for years to come. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.